Do you really need a multi-material 3D printer? And is the whole thing actually worth the hype? I've had multiple 3D printers without a material changer, but it was always the next big thing that I wanted to get. So now that I've had some time with my Bamboo Lab A1 combo, here are my thoughts on multi-material printing and if you really need it. The TLDR is this AMS has 100% improved my 3D printing experience by so much, but actually not that much in the way that I thought and probably not in the way you thought either. The main thing you see marketed for filament changers is multi-color printing and it's really cool. I think multicolor printing is the biggest game changer for people that print figures for like tabletop games or whatever, where this is a really essential thing. Still, it's a great option to have if you're doing day-to-day -day productive stuff with your 3D printer as well. For example, I want to 3D print my own keycaps for a mechanical keyboard and with multicolor printing, I can directly embed the letters perfectly into my keycap. By the way, if you don't want to miss that upcoming video where I design and 3D print my own mechanical keyboard and then build the whole thing, you should probably subscribe. Also stuff like this QR code is only really possible with a material changer. I know you can manually change the filament yourself with any other 3D printer between layers or something like that, and it might even work for something like this QR code, but you can do intricate details and also in general, it's a big pain and I never did it once. All in all, multicolor printing is a nice to have for me, but not something that I'm gonna use daily. The biggest downside for me with multicolor printing is how much filament is wasted. Depending on the amount of filament changes, you can waste a lot of filament, sometimes even more than goes into the actual print itself. Here's an example from the print earlier. With only two colors and I would say small, very small details in color, it already takes 30 grams of filament just for the flushing the filament and the prime tower. And that's 30 grams out of a total of 84. So that's more than a third just going into the color changing. And of course, all that extra filament doesn't just cost a lot of money. It also costs time because of all of the filament changes. So your multicolor print will take a lot longer than a single colored one. Both of these problems can be solved if you have a printer that has multiple tool heads. But if you look at something like the Prusa XL, it's so expensive at around like 5,000 bucks or something like that, that you can waste a lot of filament until you're getting into that price range. So all in all, by multicolor is the fancy thing that you see in all the marketing material, it's actually not the biggest reason for me. Before moving on with the video, I wanna say thanks to Bamboo Labs for sending me the A1 combo. I really love the printer so far, it just works. No tinkering, just great prints. Especially at the price, I think it's a great buy. And if you want to make an even better deal right now till July 5th, Bamboo's having their second anniversary store sale and you can get really great deals. For example, you can get the A1 for just $339 or even the bigger P1S for just $599. They also have great deals on filaments and other accessories. So if you're looking to buy, now's a really great time to do it. Just check out the link in the description down below. But coming back to the video, my second point is way more practical than just making beautiful multicolor prints. The feature is using the material changer to have your supports printed in a different filament than your main body. And this can really help you get better supports that come off easily and have greater quality on your main print. Since, for example, PLA sticks really well to PLA because, you know, that's how 3D printing actually works, it can be really hard to remove supports because they can fuse with the main body. But if you now use your filament changer to have the support in a fully different filament that doesn't stick to PLA at all, your supports go off so much better and easier. There are special support filaments like this one that come off really easily or are even water solvable. I just ordered this one for the really small price of like 30 bucks for half a kilo. So it's pretty expensive, but I'm excited for when it's actually gonna show up and we'll test that at the end of the video once it gets here. Another somewhat easier way is to use filaments that actually don't stick to each other. For example, this PLA and then this PTG. So you can use PTG as support and then PLA for the main body or the other way around. And they really don't like to stick to each other. So it's really nice to peel off the supports. The nice thing about this is it doesn't just help you get supports off easier. You can also get better quality prints. 
The feature that you can use here is having actually zero tolerance between your support and the main body. And you can also make the top layers of the support 100% solid. So the main body actually lays on top of a perfectly solid support. And this gives you a way better surface in the end. This whole technique I couldn't do at all before I had the AMS and I think it's a real game changer for prints that have supports. If you have something like this you should definitely try it out. I'm really excited for that special support filament to arrive but for now I'm still waiting. But here's the thing that I love most about the AMS and it might sound a little boring but stay with me. I just love the ability to switch filaments in between prints with basically no effort. With my other printers the process of changing filament was always the following. First you turn the printer on, then you wait for it to heat up, then you manually take out the filament, load a new one and then manually extrude a couple times. And for this whole like 5 minute process you gotta be there and then manually do things all the time and you can't really do anything else. I know I'm being picky but that whole annoying process kept me from changing filament as little as humanly possible. With the AMS it gets so much easier. If you have the right spool on here already you can just select the color or filament in the slicer. You don't even have to be in the same room and it does it all automatically. And even if you have to fully change the color you just kind of wind this one up, take the spool off, grab your new spool, And there you go. It took like what 15 seconds. Personally I pretty much always have white PLA and black PLA on the AMS because that covers me for like 90% of my printing and then you can do whatever you want with the other two slots. I know it might sound kind of boring but it's actually been a huge game changer for me in practice and the thing that makes me most excited about this AMS. And for the great finale my water solvable filament finally arrived. I'm so excited for this. This filament that I waited so long for is called PVA and it's actually water solvable which is super great for support. Everything's set up now and I'm super excited to see how this one goes. I'll see you tomorrow. I just removed the supports and the print is looking super clean. Honestly I don't think this is needed for every print. But man does it make a difference. Also just letting the supports dissolve in water is super nice and I think I should have left this overnight for it to maybe fully dissolve even but it's working really great. All in all my takeaway is that multi-material printing is definitely the future. It just gives you so many more options and it's definitely a pro for any printer that has it. So definitely check out the links to the Bamboo printers in the description down below. But also more and more companies are coming out with their own filament changers and I think it's also good to have some healthy competition. If you enjoyed this video you should check out this one where I fully automated my 3D printer. It's really interesting just watch it. Do it. Alright I'll see you in the next one.